All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, Tops Museum Collection, six box break number one. All right, so Museum Collection baseball, uh, 12 boxes in a case. So this is a half case, six box break. The other half of the case uh, I'm going to put up next weekend. Uh, so like six nights from now on Saturday night, we'll do the other half of this. All right, what's up, Jacob? Uh, nothing left in this break. This is all sold out. Uh, Chronicles Draft Football. There's plenty of spots on eBay. Yeah, we're doing another Chronicles Draft. Uh, if you go to nicksnackscasebreaks.com, that'll take you right to my eBay store. You can see uh, all the spots that are left. There's a lot left. Here, I'll put it in the chat for you. So, Jacob, if you go to that, it'll take you right to my eBay store. You'll see all the uh, auctions. All right. What's up, RA? What's up, Fred? Yeah, Museum Collection. Nice high-end set. Really good-looking cards. I haven't seen them this year. They don't veer too, uh, too much from, like, the basic Museum Collection design. So they should look great, like always. All right. Let's rip this open, and we'll see uh, which half we're going to break. All right, each uh, box normally has like four mini boxes. So you get like four hits per box. There should be one hit in each mini box. That's what the uh, that's what the four is there. So four mini boxes or four packs in every box. Yeah, we've gotten some nice museum collection uh, collection hits in the past. They have these like uh, one of one wood cards, I believe. Nice like framed cards. Yeah, I think they have the wood one of ones, the frame one of ones. Remember last year we hit a big. Uh, who was it? Sammy Sosa, I think one of one wood frame. A lot of other nice hits I got to look back to last year. All right, guys. So let's see the box. All right, so Mike Trout is on the box. Yep, four hits per master box. An on-card autograph, an autograph relic. Uh, autograph relic, quad relic, or relic. So I think you get like one of each inside each box on average. All right, so we're going to roll a dice. Odd will do the left side, even will do the right side. They uh, usually have these nice sketch cards. Uh, they have one of one versions that are like the original canvas sketch where the artist actually, it's not a reprint, it's just an original sketch on the card. All right, what's up, Frankie? Yeah, here it is, R.A. Good luck, man. You got a good team. Get those Braves. All right, guys, out left, even right. We got a five, so left side. Next Saturday night will be the right side. All right, here are your teams, everybody. Good luck, guys. Yeah, Museum Collection, uh, they make a lot of different products. Uh, I believe they do like UFC, soccer, uh, what else, wrestling. Remember they had like some Vince McMahon autographs a couple of years ago. I think Museum Collection, Star Wars they even do. Yeah, let's hit you that Trout Auto, Frankie. I want to pull a Trout Auto tonight right on the box looking at us all 
All right, and there are some really nice base cards in here too. All right, so there's the four mini boxes. All right, mini box number one. So let's see, one autograph or relic card inside. Five cards in there, so yeah. Be a good amount of base cards in six boxes. Autograph, jumbo, lumber, bat, relic, emerald, parallel. Yeah, they got a lot of different stuff. Trying to see if they have bat knobs. Yeah, they have some nice bat stuff, big chunks of bat. I don't know if they have the knobs. I believe they have knobs. I'm pretty sure I've seen some in the past. Oh, and I'm pretty sure they got a case hit or two. Let me see what they're called. All right, one museum collection framed autograph. Yeah, so the frame autograph... And then there's a jumbo relic autograph. So there's two case hits. We could hit them both in this half. We could hit one. We could hit none. Hopefully we hit at least one of those. All right, guys. Here is the new base design. There's Jose Altuve. So they always have like that marble border. Design definitely a little different this year. All right, rookie Joe Adele. Nice rookie card. And we got a Ryan Mountcastle canvas collection. All right, so this is not the original. But you'll see a lot of these regular canvas collections. Nice Mountcastle, though. All right, guys, number to 50, Marcus Stroman. Yeah, it's one of those sets where you should get a bunch of veteran autos. All right, having a great year with the Mets. Double jersey auto. 8 out of 50. Great start for the Mets. Han 6148. And Roberto Clemente. Very nice. These are like the brown border. Yeah, these are not numbered. We should get a bunch of these, like the wood border. All right, so Stroman, uh, born and raised on Long Island, so hometown hero with the Mets now. All right, Javi Baez, Bob Gibson, Willie Mays. Oh, and I didn't show you the back of the base cards. All right, uh, Trevor Story, the Brown Parallel.
Yeah, I think it's called the brown. It's the brown color anyway. All right, we got a quad for the Reds. Yeah, these are really nice, the quad. Nick Senzel, Castellanos, Vado, and Moustakis. That is number to 99, quad jersey. MCIN5968 with the Reds. Congrats. All right, primary pieces, quad relic card. We got Joey Bart, nice rookie card for the Giants. Buxton, Jose Ramirez. All right, the Brown, Eloy. Actually, the parallels, they call like Amethyst, Ruby, Sapphire, whatever uh, jewel is like a brown color. So there's Eloy. Uh, John Crook to 300, nice uh, archival autograph, silver ink. Philadelphia Phillies. All right, Arcade Man, congrats. Crook, big power hitter for the Phillies back in the day. Oh, Copper, thank you, Spencer. All right, yep, so those are the Coppers, those brown ones. Yeah, I drew a blank on that, man. I knew they weren't called brown. <laughs> What's up, Ricky? Well, the city guys claim that uh, Long Island guys aren't tough, but there's some tough guys in Long Island. Yeah, there's some bad parts of uh, Strong Island. Not where Strowman's from, though. Yeah, uh, Hempstead, Long Island, that's pretty gangster. Very hardcore. That's like where Busta Rhymes is from and stuff. Hempstead, uh, EPMD's from Hempstead. Who's from? Brentwood's another bad area. Brentwood, Suffolk County, Hempstead is Nassau. Those are like really bad areas. All right, Arenado. We got Freddie Freeman. Ooh, what's behind Freeman? Something different behind Freeman. Oh, is that a canvas collection? All right, canvas collection. Is that an originals? Wow, that is the originals. Nice. One of one. I knew there was something different about that. These are tough to pull, man. Uh, you have received an artist's original canvas collection card from 2021 Tops Museum Collection. One of one Ichiro. That's not Ichiro's autograph, but it's signed by the artist. And it is an, yeah, one of one artist sketch. He drew right on this card. That is sick. Big hit for, he's Seattle, I believe, on there. Let me check. Might be Miami, might be Seattle, might be Yankees. All right, I got to check the checklist. Yeah, might be Yankees on this. I don't know if that's a Yankee or Mariner uniform. All right, so let me just find out. That is so cool, man. You can see the difference. Uh, the reprint. There's also a one-on-one -on -one version of this Mount Castle. But the one-of-one -one artist sketch, yeah. That is awesome. I remember hitting one of these artist sketches out of a regular top set. No, it won't be. It won't be that Vince card. It's whatever it is on the checklist, man. All 
Um, if there's no team represented, you know, then it would be to whatever team he spent the most years with. But they got a checklist for this stuff. It's whatever uniform he's probably wearing. That's what it'll be on the checklist. I'm looking right now. I'll show you guys. Canvas collection. Okay, one more second. All right, museum collection, baseball insert sketch. All right, so here we go. That is so sick. All right, here's the checklist. Canvas collection. Where is Ichiro? All right, Ichiro. Yep, Seattle Mariners. Let me just, yep, original. See, the original is the same uh, picture as the reprint. The original, the reprints, uh, they just whatever copy it yeah that's cool serial numbered one out of one shape sketch card they have different ones original player original set so yeah Ichiro Seattle congrats and it looks like a Mariners uh, uniform he's on too All right, so you guys see it right there. Congrats, Seattle. And that is a Mariners uniform. Even if it's not, that's uh, what it is on the checklist. But you can see that. All right, let's mag her up. Yeah, just wanted to get that right. Yep, it is Seattle. Who's got Seattle? BY Collectibles, congrats. Oh, the Nippons. <laughs> that was his Japanese team, right? Yeah, what a cool card. Those uh, are not easy to pull either. Every year people look for those. Canvas collection, let's see. I don't know what the one of ones. Yeah, I'm not sure the odds of the one of one. One in every 126 boxes, something like that. Yeah, they don't make too many cases of a uh, museum collection. Yeah, it looks like a 75 point. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, a couple years ago we hit a artist sketch of Joey Votto, I remember. And I remember the one from Tops, it felt wet. It was like really heavy. The ink barely dried. Yeah, congrats, Seattle. BY Collectibles. All right, let's keep going. 
All right, then we have a copper Eloy, another copper Eloy, and the hit Nate Pearson to 50. That's low numbered. 41 out of 50, meaningful material. Rookie for the Blue Jays. All right, BY Collectibles with the Jays. All right, guys, next box. Great start in box one. Oh, the 80s Mets could bowl. <laughs> yeah, even the supporting cast on the Mets, yeah, they all... Uh, they all did their part. But the front line starters, uh, Hernandez, Gary Carter, uh, Darrell, even the pitchers, you know, Ron Darling, Gooden. But yeah, you need a good supporting cast. But it all starts with that great pitching, too. That was a great uh, pitching staff. Yeah, Ichiro's got a little Latin flavor in that uh, sketch. Still very talented. I don't know. I could... Uh, my art is uh, very cartoony. I could never, like, do those, you know, portraits of people. That's not my thing. All right, guys, Frank Robinson, Blake Snell, Garrett Cole, Copper, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., so Montreal Expos, which goes to the Nationals. Next hit, we got Wilson Contreras. All right, that is numbered on the back to 199. Double Jersey Auto, Chicago Cubs. All right, Cubbies on the board. Uh, Sumkas, zero, congrats. So this is not uh, the Braves rookie. This is his older brother on the Cubbies. Yeah, they did party. That's one thing uh, they won't deny. Yeah, now they're crazy. Yeah, Dykstra's crazy. He's the uh, the whole the rat of the group now. Yeah, he went to jail and got got like abused in jail. Something happened to him there. So when he came out, he was just uh, blabbing everything. All right, guys, Aaron Judge, Miguel Cabrera. We got a canvas collection. All right, Clayton Kershaw. So this is the reprint. There you go, Dodgers. All right, we got a copper Jorge Soler, Kansas City. And a quad relic to 75, Philadelphia Phillies. All right, rookie Alec Baum on the bottom right there. Reese Hoskins, Bryce Harper, Andrew McCutcheon. All right, Arcade Man with the Phils. All right, second hit for the Phillies. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, uh, when all that Dykstra controversy started, so, you know, a couple little things on it, then I just ignored it. I have no clue, uh, but I kept hearing his name. I know he just kept rambling, rambling, writing books.
But good to see he's uh, gotten back to normal, I guess. Because he was a fan favorite. People love that guy, man. Very fun, exciting player. A lot of fire. All right, base cards. Trey Turner, Harmon Killebrew, Mookie Betts. Copper. Ken Griffey Jr., Seattle. All right, nice two-color patch to 35. Kevin Biggio, 35 out of 35. Nice card. Toronto BY Collectibles. So two-color patch on that. All right, we should have an auto in this last one. All right, so we got Ernie Banks, Kyle Lewis, Ooh, another canvas collection. Oh, uh, that looks like Juan Soto. Let's see. You have Juan Soto. Nice. So we got two of those uh, reproductions in this box. Plus that uh, original sketch one. All right. Ronald Acuna on the copper. Hot Lana. And a archival autograph, Silver Ink, 11 out of 25, Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. I know uh, Jazz Chisholm is the big rookie Marlin. They got like a dozen rookies. Sixto, very talented though. All right, Matthew McInturf, congrats. Yeah, Marlin spot has been very popular this year with all those rookies. A lot of years it's like that spot that nobody wants. So nice to see Miami uh, getting some love this year. All right, box three. All right, we still got the two case hits floating in the case somewhere. Love to hit that. The framed auto is very nice. That's like, uh, I mean, the jumbo patch auto is nice too, but that framed is very popular. Uh, just two days? Okay, that's not bad. What's up, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, we've gotten a lot of nice hits uh, recently. Yep. It's been a nice run. Feels a little heavier, maybe a frame, I don't know. Yeah, that felt it. I felt the weight, man. We got a frame, there's a case hit right there. Good luck. All right, base cards, Jorge Soler. Ooh, I don't wanna see the frame. All right, Acuna. Let's go to the uh, copper. All right, Robin Yount, Milwaukee. 
And behind Ken Griffey Jr., that's going to be a framed auto, I believe. 13 out of 15, silver ink auto. Somebody with a pretty muscular elbow. Or four on. Yeah, this dude is Diesel, whoever that is. All right, Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Nice hit for the Phils. 13 out of 15. How's Reese doing this year? Is he back to normal? All right, case hit Hoskins. Arcade man, congrats. Yeah, muscular uh, elbow, forearm, biceps. Yeah, Reese is a beast. Look at that. Now, there's been cases that you'll hit two framed autos, or you could always hit uh, more than one case hit. But there's also still that jumbo patch auto in there. All right, he's got 56 ribbies on the air, so it looks like those numbers are okay. 20 homers, yeah, batting 233, but that's okay. He's got the power numbers, and he'll crank that average up a little. 37 walks, so his on-base percentage is 314. All right, nice, Jay. Let's see, I wonder if the frame fits in the mag. Yeah, it should. I have uh, some bigger mags. Oh, that's a hundred. Let me see. I'm going to sleeve it first. I know that frame. I don't know if the frame can scratch inside a mag. But the sleeve, that should help that. Yeah, it's hard to design with those paint markers, especially uh, depending on the style of the guy's autograph. Like, look at six, though. He did not know how to work that silver ink. Oh, actually, yeah, that looks nice. All right, congrats, Jay. All right, let's find that other case hit now. Or maybe another frame. This pack is super light. But could be because I just felt the frame. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, something thin in there. Maybe a redemption. No, I don't think it's a redemption. All right, guys. Manny Machado. Cabrian Hayes has a nice rookie card. Pittsburgh. Uh, Arcade Man with the Pennsylvania Monopolies. Got Philly and Pitt. That's a good rookie card. All right, canvas collection. Ah, uh, that looks like Xander Bogarts. Boston Red Sox. Copper, Randy Arosarena, last year's hero. 
And Willie Castro, double bat autograph, Detroit. Number to 349, young player. I think he was a yeah, rookie last year. No, rookie this year, my bad. There's the RC logo. All right, Detroit, Gonzo. No, not at all, Chris. Yeah, it's a lost start. It's because of the times, because they're not writing as much as they used to. Right now, uh, yeah, most students are using uh, tablets and those uh, like smart books. So they're typing, swiping, more swiping than typing. Ooh, something cool coming. All right, Trevor Story, Eloy, Vladimir Guerrero, Clayton Kershaw Copper, and all right, two different teams on this one. A couple of good names. Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, number to 35, double patch. Wow, so that'll be a random between the Angels and the Dodgers. That's a nice card, too. Trout's got the three color. Betts with the two color. Uh, dual meaningful material relic card. Pretty sick, man. All right, so Angels 480 Sports Guy and the Dodgers uh, Pinlar 75.9. If that had ink on it, it'd probably uh, probably wouldn't be so easy to random, but still should have value uh, even though it's no ink. Yeah, any like three color trout patch, no matter what card it's on, is going to sell big. And bets ain't too shabby either, man. Yeah, we'll go to random.org at the end of the break. Uh, yeah, good luck to both of you guys. So yeah, a lot of action in six boxes of museum collection. This is uh the halfway point now, right after this pack. All right, McCutcheon. Casey Mize, nice rookie card. Ooh, so a nice name there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Robin Yount Copper. And all right. What a nasty quad patch here, man. Tom Seaver. Four out of ten. New York Mets. Ooh, no ink on that, man. But patches of legends are always nice. Primary pieces, legends, low number to 10. Yeah, that's going to sell very well. Primary pieces, quad relic, legends. All right, Mets. Uh, Han, 614A, congrats. Yeah, RIP, man. That was sad last year. We lost a lot of greats last year. Right, it's like, these guys were all uh, signing on-card autographs. It was great having them, man. And then we lost like six of them last year. Brock, Gibson, Hank Aaron, Seaver. Uh, there's more I'm just not thinking of right now. 
All right, so the legend, Tom Seaver. All right, guys, three boxes to go. Let me mag up that legend uh, quad patch. Yeah, that's nice, Benjamin. Yeah, it's a 10. Yeah, we've hit some nasty DeGroms in our day, too. I remember uh, two or maybe three years ago, we hit a DeGrom one-of-one one, uh, MLB Logo Man patch auto. It was out of Topps Dynasty. I think Dynasty's coming out soon, too. Just five cards in a case of Dynasty, five boxes, just one card in a box. All right, box four. And those are, yeah, hard to get, man, those dynasties. I mean, I used to get two, three cases of Dynasty. The way the hobby is now, pretty much like one case of everything. I mean, anything high-end like that. Other products, you know, still get allocated all right. But stuff like this, man, I was getting, you know, three, four cases of Museum Collection in the past. After what happened to the hobby last year, yeah, it's a whole different allocation game now. The hobby got too big and, like, too many people wanted. People spending a lot of money with these distributors. They're, like, not going to not send them products. So, yeah. You get a lot less than you used to. Right, guys, Alex Kirloff, good rook, Lindor, Mountcastle, good rook. Yeah, they probably uh, don't have any of the crappy rookies in this set. Just the top guys. All right, Copper, Andrew McCutcheon. All right, Mark Burley, White Sox. This guy threw a no-hitter a couple years ago, or a few years ago. Double jersey auto, number to 271. All right, Burley. Congrats, uh, some casts. Yeah, because there's a lot of guys that are, um, you know, like if they're breaking uh, mostly basketball or football, they'll just buy it, you know, because it, yeah, it all goes by how much you spend now. So they'll go through like 50 cases of NT basketball and flawless, and those cases cost like 20000 each, 15000 20000 So they'll get their numbers up quick, man. They're not breaking, uh, you know, top series two and stuff. Or like a case of prism is uh, a box of prism is like fifteen hundred. So if they're just breaking prism all day long, they're not breaking it on eBay. They'll have a website or Instagram or Facebook. Then they'll just put their set prices. But then their allocations, when they get stuff at a lower price, they get a ton of uh, allocated product. So yeah, it's uh yeah tougher to get. All right, Big Poppy, Vladdy Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonzo. Yeah, good luck, Fred. We'll get you some Padres, man. Plenty more to go. 
All right, Chris Bryant Copper. All right, Milwaukee Brewers. Kesson Hira to 300. I hope he's been doing better lately. He struck. Uh, he had big struggles last year, early this year. But had an insane 2019 rookie year. One of the best. All right, number to 300, Silver Ink. Milwaukee Brewers. Ah, uh, Milwaukee CP, congrats. But yeah, I still, you know, I'm loaded with products and inventory. I just, uh, just have to pay more when you don't get them allocated to you. Any extra stuff you buy, you're paying, you know, a little discount, but pretty much close to retail. But it still works. I just wish the tough to find stuff, you know, like this stuff. Get a little more of. All right, Yelich, Ian Anderson. Sam Huff. All right, Casey Mize, Copper. Detroit rookie. Almost made the All-Star team this year. Pretty close. And number 299, Josh Donaldson. Minnesota Twins quad relic. All right, Minnesota BM cards. All right, last mini box of uh, box four. Nah, he hasn't snapped out of it yet, Chris. Alright, this is thinner. Feels thinner. Alright, Mike Schmidt, Shane Bieber, <clears throat> Canvas Collection, Bo Bichette, Reproduction. Copper, Manny Machado for the Padres. And another Padre, Fernando Tatis Jr., 16 out of 50. All right, there's some Tatis for you, Fred. All right, Road Runner 724. All right, so nice brown Padres jersey. These are low numbered, man, those meaningful materials. All right, box five. All right, what's up, Mamba? Oh, nice. Okay, shout out to the McInturfs. Oh, wow, the whole family's in the break. Yeah, it's nice you guys could all enjoy the hobby together. My kids want nothing to do with sports cards. Sports in general. My kids are like uh, anime and... K-pop dorks, kind of. <laughs> yeah, 
know, the video games and the anime, they're yeah, really into that stuff. But yeah, good luck, Mac and Turfs. Oh, uh, Donaldson. Yeah, I have no clue what Donaldson's doing this year, but great player. Right, is he doing his thing this year? I would think Twins fans were happy when they got Donaldson. He was an actor in one episode of Vikings. That was pretty cool. All right, guys. Johnny Bench. Patel Marte. Uh, Canvas Collection. That's Al K Line, I think. Yep, Al K Line. Detroit. All right. Wow, our first uh, non copper here. So we got a uh, Sapphire. Sapphire's the blue. All right, Jacob DeGrom to 150. Wow, these numbered cards must be tough to get. It took uh, five boxes to find one. All right, Metropolitans is a DeGrom. 80 out of 150. And great pitcher here, Milwaukee Brewers, Josh Hader. Uh, number to 250. Wow, the best uh, best young closer in the game, man. It's been a while since you had one of those like old school type closers. Uh, yeah, Josh Hader, he's awesome. All right, CP with the Brew Crew. And Hader puts up some numbers. All right, guys, Chronicles Draft Football, uh, breaking in about a half hour. I'm going to get the invoices out uh, pretty soon. We're almost on here, another box and a half. All right, guys, Ron Santo for the Cubbies. Nice. Scherzer. Jacob DeGrom again. All right, Copper. Devin Williams for the Brewers. Another great Brewers pitcher. And Byron Buxton and Nelson Cruz. Uh, number to 50, double relic, bat in a jersey. All right, congrats, Minnesota. Uh, BM Cards. Okay, we got George Brett, Ozzy Albies, Stan the Man, Copper, Ichiro, and all right, Justin Morneau for the Twins, 11 out of 25, patch and a bat, nice hit for the Twins, Morneau, uh, really good player back in the day. Right, I think, uh, wasn't he in some epic, like, home run derbies, too? Alright, dual relic autograph. So, yeah, two-color patch on the right. And a bat. Uh, Minnesota BM cards.
Yeah, Twins having a great break. All right, last mini box uh, of box five. Good luck. All right, Nate Pearson, Joe Mauer. There's Mauer. Oh, wow, he was the number one overall pick, uh, Mauer, a long time ago. All right, Canvas Collection, Eddie Murray. Wow, who's the artist on this one? They made that mustache crazy. Look at that. Eyebrows, hair. Yeah, this guy's not that good with hair. But well, looks funky. There you go, Baltimore. Eddie Murray. And another Ichiro. Copper. Oakland Athletics. Jesus Lazardo. Uh, quad Relic to 99. All right, guys. One box to go. Let's see who's got Oakland. Uh, MCIN, congrats. Yeah, more no, definitely underrated. And who else? The Angels had a bunch of uh, underrated guys, too, like uh, Troy Glouse and Salmon back in the day. I guess from the same era. Mauer's probably a little uh, underrated as well. We'll see, like, 100 years from now or 50 years from now. Which players from this uh, generation are going to not even be talked about? Somebody will pull their card in a break or something and say, Ah, who was that guy? And look up his numbers and see how great they were. Right, is Goldschmidt going to be uh, somebody forgotten? Or Donaldson, someone like that? All right, just one minute, guys. We'll get this last box. Hopefully, uh, best for last here. We got to top that one of one Ichiro. Just looking for a big auto now. We've hit the, uh, you know, big one of one canvas. Hit some really nice patches, that Tom Seaver legend patch. Reese Hoskin, that wasn't a bad uh, case hit, but could have been Trout or somebody huge. Acuna, Tatis, Soto. Or Alec Baum, maybe. Okay, guys, one more. In so invoices are out for Chronicles. Just one or two more. So next week or this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Tops Finest, Select Baseball, Top Stadium Club. Uh, what else? Top Series 2, I had a jumbo case left. So Wednesday and Thursday, we'll go through a case of Series 2. That's my last case of Series 2 Jumbo. And 
And then uh, Archive Signature Series, that's going to be next weekend, and the other half of this case. And Gypsy Queen, I'm going to try to put that up next weekend. We'll see. It was delayed a little bit. Okay, last one, and we'll get this going. Okay, let me get back to the chat. Oh, and guys, my son, uh, my 12-year-old son, just turned 12, uh, he's got a YouTube channel. If you guys could subscribe. I was thinking of bribing everybody, but yeah, he had like 19 subscribers. I mentioned it last night, and uh, three people subscribed, so he went up to 22. He was excited about that. Yeah, he's got some funny stuff there, a lot from when he was a baby, like, I don't know, Really funny kid, man. Very witty. All right. Here we are, the chat. So, uh, PHG. Oh, no, it's not spelled like that. PHG space 207. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. Get him some subs. He's all about... Uh, he gives me updates on how many subscribers I have. That stuff doesn't matter to me. As long as I'm, you know, able to break. People know where to find me. So he's all about that. So I think he got a little discouraged, you know. But yeah, help the confidence of a 12-year-old kid there. He didn't touch YouTube for like two years. But he has a lot of videos. Uh, there's a funny one where we had this really hot... It's like a box of chocolates where like three or four of the chocolates are like super hot. Like a million CTUs or whatever they used to count. How much spice is in something? Yeah, you. it's funny, man. I had a beard at that time, too. I don't know what I was doing. It looked like I was on the Boston Red Sox. But yes, in three years, man. I think it was like three years ago. Like It was like a baby three years ago. Now he's totally different. You know, like a... Still little, but not like he was back three years ago. They grow fast. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, Scoville's, that's it, yep. Oh, thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Mamba. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah, he's going to put a lot more videos, he said. Uh, he's going to work on it. Because he just got back to it after years off. The first video, it's like him at his Chuck E. Cheese birthday party with like his best friend, DeAndre. They're like hiding under something. I don't know. Pretty funny. No sports content though, but just a funny kid. All right, guys, here we go. Otani, Corey Seager, Luis Robert. Maybe at some point I'll bribe you guys, give you like free cards and stuff for subscribing. Uh, Ty Cobb Copper. All right, Cincinnati Reds, archival autographs, Trevor Bauer. All right. So, yeah, he's on the Reds on this card. I know he's on the Dodgers now. A little drama queen in L.A. now. But uh, I would think he sells good. This guy, uh, people talk about him all the time. He's not a quiet guy. All right, Reds. Uh, all right, Mackin5968. That's got to be one of the Mackin turfs, I'm thinking. Congrats, guys. 
It almost looks like a Kevin Biggio autograph. Yeah, my 12-year-old son, he loves spicy food. We just got the Hot Ones. Uh, it's like a board game, and it comes with the Hot Ones sauce. Hot Ones, they're like interviewing celebrities as they're eating like chicken wings with different levels of hot sauce, and it just gets hotter and hotter. So, yeah, he was able to handle the Hot Ones. But this stuff uh, that we ordered from vat19.com, it's like deadly hot like you feel like you're gonna die it's not it's not a fun hot it's not even like oh that sucks my mouth's burning for an hour this is like a gallon of milk and you're still feeling like you're gonna die Jose Abreu Mike Trout base Paul Goldschmidt Anthony Rizzo that's a copper And we got Otani, 46 out of 50. Regular white jersey, but these cards are numbered low. All right, Angels, getting something late here. 480 Sports Guy. And good luck on the random uh, in a couple minutes or a few minutes. Trout versus Betts in a little bit. I think that feels heavy too. Maybe I'm wrong. No, not a framed card. Maybe something thicker. All right, guys. Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. Jackie Robinson. Juan Soto. Juan Soto Copper. Kevin Biggio. All right, double jersey auto. Yeah, I think Vladdy's got a good shot at the Triple Crown. There's a lot of baseball left. He's close. All right, great player for the Blue Jays, man. Yeah, Biggio, Bichette, Vladdy, they're all great. Uh, BY Collectibles, congrats. So that one's numbered to 271. All right, we got one box to go. All right, uh, if you guys didn't get a hit in the break or do bad, I always send uh, packs on mail day. So I know this is a pretty high-end set for baseball anyway. So I always put that into consideration, you know, uh, when I'm sending the pack. So I'll try to hook you guys up super nice. All right, guys. All right, Ichiro, he was the man of the hour here. Devin Williams, Carlos Correa. Kirby Puckett, nice copper. And we got Rafael Devers to 99, Boston Red Sox quad relic. All right, congrats, Bo Sox. Uh, Bomb US. Bomb US, E P G A M F. All right, guys, we got to do that uh, random now. I'll set that up. It's a nice card, too. Trout bets double patch to 35. I wonder what something like that would go for. Would that be close to like 100 bucks? 
is that like 70 I think something like that all right so the other half of this case next weekend Hopefully one of those monster autos. I'm glad we got a, the, one of the case hits. So there's the jumbo patch auto that'll be in the other half. Uh, but we did get the 101 original sketch card, which was huge. Yeah, $100 all day for that one. Nice. Yeah, I just... I don't sell individual cards, so unless I'm looking for something in particular on eBay or I look it up, yeah, I have no clue on current values now. Yeah, so probably more than a hundred on that then, huh? Yeah, none of those sold yet. There's one on eBay. It's not patches, though. Just like a double jersey. They're asking like 60 bucks. All right. The Mookie Betts by himself is a $25 sale. Twelve million Shiba INU coins. <laughs> some kind of uh some kind of cryptocurrency. Uh when's who coming back? Number twenty seven. I'm bad with you. Is that a Met number twenty seven? Yeah, nobody's ringing a bell right now. All right, so I'm going to random.org. All right, good luck to the Angels and Dodgers. And then we'll do a recap. All right, who's first? Angels. Yeah, the hot chocolate I was talking about earlier called uh, Burn or Bliss. So if anybody likes spice, uh, I mean, I probably should have had CPS cold on me because my son always liked spice when he was young. He was, yeah, he's got that baby voice. He's like nine years old. We cut the video off uh, before, like an hour after that. We we're in the kitchen just dying, man, dying. He grew up fast, man. Like, I look back to three years, like. Yeah, when you're with them every day, you don't really notice it. Okay, guys, let's roll a dice. Let's see how many times uh, we're going to hit the random button. Okay. All right, I can't see the chat now, but uh, I'll get back to it in a minute. 
All right, Trout bets to 35. Really nasty double patch. Three colors on the Trout. That should uh, bring it in some good value. All right, so we're going to roll two dice. All right, good luck. This is how many times we'll click the random button. All right, four times, three and a one. So four times on the randomizer. Good luck, guys. There's my Doc Gooden. Boom, I love this thing. Player gets six hits off Nolan Ryan in one game. Robin Ventura. All right, guys, uh, there it is. All right, so random.org. Uh, we're going to click that random button four times. After the fourth click, whichever team is on top wins the card. All right, so both teams are written down twice. There's just a two next to it uh, the second time I wrote it. When there's only two spots, a lot of clicks, you don't even see them move. So a lot better when you do that. All right, good luck. On my little, uh, just to show you CP, I have a little post-it. I told you when I free up, we'll talk about the, uh, I mean, I'll look into your credit card showed it uh, three times. So didn't forget about you. Just during the breaks, I barely have time in between. All right, good luck, guys. <clears throat> One. Two. All right, so now it's keeping track right above. You have randomized this list two times. All right, two more clicks. One. And one more. Good luck. All right, LA Dodgers. Let's see who's got the Dodgers. Uh, Pinlar, 75.9. Congrats. Uh, sorry, 480 Sports Guy. Yeah, I always hate doing these randoms because I know uh, there's one really happy person and one complete opposite. All right, so there's official timestamp and all that. The IP number, 3.29 a.m. All right, guys, let's do that recap. Uh, Chronicles Draft Football, I'll be back in like 10 minutes or so and we'll uh, break that. I sent out invoices uh, a little earlier, so all I got to do is do this recap and then just start a new stream, get the break list ready, that's it. Well, you get your money's worth with Otani, man. He's pitching, he's hitting, the... F he should get paid double. All right, guys, recap. Um, all right, some of the base rookie card. Well, here's all the base rookie cards. We got Nate Pearson, Ian Anderson, Sam Huff. Ryan Mountcastle, Alex Kirilov, Casey Mize, Cabrian Hayes, there's the big one, Joey Bart, Joe Adele. All right, Canvas Collection. We hit an extra one, so we got seven Canvas Collections. All right, and we actually got an eighth one. You'll see at the end of the recap, that was a one-of-one one original artist sketch. All right, here's the re reproductions. Eddie Murray for the Orioles, uh, Al Kaline for the Tigers, Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays, Bogarts for the Red Sox. Uh, that is Juan Soto for the Nats, Kershaw for the Dodgers, Mountcastle, rookie for the Orioles. All right, only one uh, numbered card to 150. Jacob deGrom, Sapphire. 
New York Mets. All right, there was a uh, copper in every mini box, so like 20 coppers. I'm not going to recap those. It was a lot, though. Big pile, Soto, Puckett, so guys like that. Kershaw, Yount, Acuna, Ken Griffey Jr., a bunch in there. Not numbered, just the copper parallel. All right, now we'll do the jersey cards and a lot of nice base cards too, man. Just a beautiful set. All right, here are the memorabilia cards. All right, to 99, Raphael Devers. A lot of them are going to be quads. All right, for the Red Sox. Oh, Tani, number to 50, Angels. Number to 50, meaningful material. All right, Lizardo to 99 for the A's. Double uh, bat and jersey, Twins, Buxton, and Cruz. Fernando Tatis Jr. to 50 for the Padres. Uh, we got Donaldson, number to 99, Minnesota Twins. Double patch to 35, Kevin Biggio, Toronto. We got the Phillies, Bryce Harper, Andrew McCutcheon, Reese Hoskins, and rookie Alec Baum to 75, quad Phillies. Uh, rookie for the Blue Jays, Nate Pearson to 50. And another quad, Cincinnati Reds, Vado Castellanos, Mustakis, and Nick Senzel. That's number to 99. All right, we hit a double patch. Mike Trout, Mookie Betts. Uh, that just went to the Dodgers in the randomizer. Number to 35. Uh, Tom Seaver. This is nasty. It's a primary pieces legends. You even got a nice Mets patch there on the left. It is numbered four out of ten. Congrats to the Mets. Usually the legends uh, specials sell better. And they're tougher to pull. Tom Seaver, New York Mets. All right, guys, autographs now. All right, here we go. We got Kevin Biggio, Toronto Blue Jays, double jersey auto. That's number to 271. All right, we got Trevor Bauer to 200, silver ink auto, Cincinnati Reds. Justin Moore, no, that is number to 25, patch and a bat auto, Minnesota Twins. Josh Hader to 250, Silver Ink for the Brewers. Silver Ink to 300, Kesson Hero for the Brewers. White Sox, uh, this guy threw a no hitter, man. Mark Burley, double jersey auto. That one is numbered on the back to 271. Rookie, uh, double bat auto, Willie Castro for the Tigers. That is numbered to 349. 11 out of 25, Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins with the silver ink. Rookie. Uh, Wilson Contreras for the Cubs, double jersey auto. That one is numbered to 199. John Crook to 300, silver ink auto for the Phillies. Marcus Stroman, New York Mets, having a great year. Uh, number to 50, double jersey auto. We got a case hit silver ink framed auto, 13 out of 15. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Congrats, Phils. Great break for the Phillies. And we hit a one of one original artist sketch or original canvas collection card. Signed in the back by the artist. Matt Stewart, it is a one-of-one one Ichiro sketch, so he actually drew on this card. Right, that's not a reprint or anything, man. That's artwork right on there. 
which is great. That's like a little work of art. Definitely has a little Latin flair to him. But every artist has their own style. Like, I, don't know, I think the Eddie Murray artist is... Yeah, he's got a funky style. Even like the Oreo logo on the hat. But it looks good though, just he's got his own look. And other guys are a little more uh, realistic, right? That's That looks like Al Kaline. Just like, a, like you took a picture of him. But yeah, the guy who did Eddie Murray, I bet you he did the Bichette too. Something with hair he makes funky. Uh, let's see, Josh Trout did the Bichette. Let's see who did the Orioles, Eddie Murray. Mads Adams, not different people. All right, congrats to the Seattle Mariners. Oh, I forgot to say who it went to. Yeah, Mariners on the checklist. Yeah, definitely some solid stuff. I wish a couple of bigger autos. That's what was lacking from this break. Nice stuff. We did awesome with the Relics. A lot of solid autos, don't get me wrong, but we didn't have that, like, knockout auto, like the Trout, Jeter, Ichiro auto, uh, Tatis, Acuna, Soto, uh, you know, big rookie auto like Cabrian, but a lot of solid autos, you know, Kevin Biggio, uh, yeah, Biggio, I mean, Burley threw a no-hitter. Uh, More no was a beast. So a lot of cool stuff. Josh Hader is unstoppable. Trevor Bauer, you know, Cy Young winner last year. So not bad autos, just... We'll see the other half if we get one of those, uh, one or more of those monsters. All right, thank you, guys. I'll be back shortly, everybody. Sorry for the delay, uh... Try to get him going as close to break time as possible, but it's always, uh, you know, but always within 10, 15 minutes. All right. Thank you, guys. Be back in five minutes for Chronicles Draft Football. So if you're in that break, I'll be live again in five minutes. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.